Well, back in the 1960s, one of the monkeys, that quintessential all-American band, uh, of its time, that is, said that pop music is aspirin and blues are vitamins. Well, we're going to ask our next guest about that because back in 2001, the noted jazz and blues singer Baritha Reddy formed her own edutainment performance arts organization called Big Eyed Productions, Inc. The mission was and continues to be to introduce young audiences to the sound, history, and culture of the blues. Well, from this Thursday through Saturday, you can experience the festival with some of the best blues artists in town and from out of town <laughs> at the Kimball Theater on Brooklyn's Long Island University campus. Now, here to give us a preview of this, the Big Eye Blues Festival's 10th anniversary is its founder, Miss Baritha Reddy. And word has it that you just might sing a little blues yourself for us today. I might. I might have you sing with me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, talked, we talked about that. We talked about that. So, uh -huh. do you have to know how to sing to sing the blues? I don't think so. I think you just go out, you know, the blues is uh, music of the soul. Yeah. And, you know, it's just the way you feel. So, you know, you'll listen, you'll hear me later and you'll know what I mean when okay. you say you don't have to know how to sing. See, to I do it. think you either <laughs> grow up in a jazz house or a blues house. And maybe some people had a hybrid, but I grew up in a blues house. Oh, yeah. cool. So I, I understand. Jazz house, now that I think see, about it. I yeah, understand I didn't the whole of it like that soul. before. Uh -huh. My dad's from the Delta, so like uh -huh. I grew up listening to blues. Like uh -huh. I'm a blues guy. Oh, wonderful. Jazz guy. Well, you, Either that or church music. Yeah, well, that's, that goes that's without been, saying. Right. My mom was mm -hmm. the church, my father was the blues. Yeah, that, 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 that goes mm -hmm. without saying. Now, right. we did lose the international blues giant, B.B. Uh, King, this year. Right. You know, why yeah. is it so important that we continue, you know, to educate, edutain people mm. about uh, this culture? Um, because one thing is, we know it's a, an American art form, and it's... Um, uh, was from... developed from... Um, the African-American culture. And uh, oftentimes, uh, the children of the day, or even people your age, um, don't really know the history of the blues and the importance of it, that uh, it came from um, your feelings of, um, you know, just get, getting over um, hardships. Mm -hmm and um, struggling through life. And it, it really just expresses your feelings about life. And oftentimes, um, I mean, things are so washed out now that we don't, we, I don't know if we have those kind of hard times and those kind of struggles as we had before. Like, I grew up at a time when um, I would go to the dentist and I had to, in my hometown of Sylvania, Georgia, mm -hmm. I'd have to go to the back of the white dental office. Mm -hmm. And then there was, uh, um, uh, a white water fountain and a black water fountain. So I'm old enough that I, you know, experience that. And the kids today know nothing of that. I'm trying to reconcile the look that you're giving me with mm -hmm. that story of saying you had to go around in a time when, right? like the bad old days. Yes. So you're talking about the kids of today have their own sets of hardships and struggles. And Definitely. they put a lot of that into rap music and right. the hip hop, hip -hop. culture. Mm -hmm. Do you Definitely. see any people discovering young people of this generation discovering the blues as an alternative? Because not everybody can, like, rhyme yeah. and spit something, <laughs> right. but they still have... Express themselves yeah. through yeah, their struggles. That's right. That's right. I actually, uh, well, what I do, I have a, a group of children that I've been working with for about the last four or five years, and they're called the Big Eyed Blues uh, Youth Ensemble. And so uh, I started in school, in the school um, near where I live, uh, doing a vocal blues choral thing. Mm. And so I told them of uh, the history about, you know, uh, the blues I feel is started in West Africa mm -hmm. with our rhythm and we brought them over here. And then we were, uh, we were put in the fields and then it was the field ho hollers and the spirituals and the chants and the work songs. Mm -hmm. So in teaching this, I gave them history and examples of uh, the music that came before them. So um, I think there, there are some children of color that are being introduced to blues, and I'm happy about that, more, but more so um, the white audience of children uh, are really 
singing it a lot and being exposed to it a lot. So that's why I want to keep it in the community and for uh, the community, you know. by the community. That's now, right. We do have we some don't. footage. Look at that. That's Look at that beautiful me. dress right there. Look at that lady <laughs> singing. Now, so, what can we expect from the tenth anniversary festival? Well, uh, it's a three-day event. It's October 8th through the, um, the 10th, and the first day is a free event, and we're talking about the uh, relationship with blues music to hip-hop. So it's okay. going to be an open forum, cool. and uh, hip-hop artists, uh, radio hosts, Manny Faces will be um, co-hosting with, you know him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll build. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With Bill Sims, a junior who is a wonderful vocalist and music educator and historian, and we're going to have an open forum, uh, and it's free at Cumble Theater, right down okay. at Long Island University. Nice. And um, oh, that's the chief uh, from last year. And um, on uh, Friday, the second day, October 9th, it's going to be a Women in Blues Brooklyn. Nice. And um, we're going to bring up uh, Miss B.B. Queen from Nashville, Tennessee. So the whole program, we're going to have about seven different female artists performing and along as well with musicians. So well, Thursday to Sunday, it is going down. We it's want going to down. hear no, the Thursday blues. Thursday to Saturday. Thursday, Thursday to Saturday. To Saturday. Right. So instead of hearing about mm -hmm. the blues, we're going to hear you sing. Now performing the classic blues song, C.C. Ryder, we have Miss Aretha Redding. I'm so unhappy, I feel so blue, I feel so sad. I made a mistake right from the start, oh he was so hard to part. I hope this letter that I would write I hope he will remember when he receives it. C.C. Ryder, see what you done, done. Lord, 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 you may need love you. Now your gal done come. Let me tell you this. If you see my man CC, see, see, 